Okay. Even though we've got other recordings going mm-hmm. on. So, young man, step up to Donna's mic. Step up to my mic. And explain who you are and what you're doing in the Conduit Studio. Oh, I'm here to photograph the lovely Miss Donna Sprouts. Wow. Thank I mean, she so just much. she just here, you know. She just here and you've got man following her already taking her picture. Personal paparazzi. Ke- ke- you know what? I, I, I love it. I feel so blessed. So, you're a photographer, young man. What one is your name? One of New York's best photographers. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> one, one of New York's... York's <laughs> All right, so tell us your name and, and where people can find you if they're looking for the best photographer in New York. Oh, okay. My name is Kevin Mahoney. I'm with Stills in Motion. Uh, and yes. I have a Facebook page. And then Which I have Facebook page? Um, Kevin Mahoney. K-E-V-I-N-M-A-H-O-N-E-Y. Yes. That's his Facebook page? Yes, and I'm a hobbyist. I'm, I'm a hobbyist, but I'm very good. What's a hobbyist? Very good. One that does it on the side. You've got to speak into oh, the mic. Okay. okay. I probably may do it on the side, but I do make a little bit of cash. Right you do it on the side? Okay, yeah. um, tell me more about this side thing. No, you <laughs> know what? I'm sorry. We ain't no side chicks. It's her. It's her. It's her. It's her. It's her. We're not into kidding. side chicks. No. So oh. tell me, how did you meet Donna? Oh, gosh. How do you? Should we tell the truth? Should we tell the real truth? No, 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 no. We gotta clean it up. We gotta clean it up. Yeah, okay, so all right, all oh, right. It's a Sunday afternoon. It's a Sunday afternoon. And the children are listening. The rice and peas has been finished and everything else, so we can yes. speak it up. Uh, you, I, I'll let you tell them because I think it's I think that it's one of the things that makes um, us as people so great. Uh, in terms of trusting, we have to go back to trusting our spirit, hmm. which can be difficult. But you, hmm. uh, you know, this is really uh, social media is such a great thing, and it can be a bad thing. We're, we're <laughs> actually going to talk about that right. because Donna is a real social media maven, <laughs> and she's actually opened my eyes to something that all of us take for granted right. the power of social media and how we can harness it to make it work for ourselves no matter what industry or what business you're mm-hmm. in so she's going to be talking to us yeah, about absolutely. that but absolutely. she's just talking about this experience here with yeah. kevin mahoney i want to so, know how so, that came so about. really um i've got a thing called so we're going to give so much away and we, it's yeah, so we're going to give so right much now. away. It's early, so it's early. let me not tell you much. later. Yeah. What I will say to you is, it was great. It, this is really the first time I've met Kevin, but it's not the first time I've been in contact with Kevin. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I would say. It sounds like Dateline, doesn't it? Or one of the Dateline things. But mm. no. And you have to trust things, and you can see people's spirit if you're in tune to yourself ah. and in tune to your quiet voice, in tune to the God in you, you will attract exactly what you are. We know wrong from right, but we choose to ignore. So what I'm saying is this may be the first time I've met Kevin physically. But you feel like you know him. But I feel like I know him because what he stands for. Now, he didn't give himself enough boost because we do that as, as people. Yeah. As people, we don't Some give ourselves enough. That... Right. But we, yeah. but it's, it's, a, it's a slave mentality of not realizing how great so we are. So you're saying that the false modesty is, is false? It's false. It's false because we act like we're not supposed to have it. Like, I'm just, no, we are all, we are great in every I'm way. I'm putting up my hand. Right. If there's a cleaner, she's great at being a cleaner. Peter's or he's in the back putting up his hand. Right. So Kevin, to me, is one of the best best photographers the reason i can say this because i have seen his work the reason i can say that is the power his words and the power of what he believes he holds no punches and doesn't really uh care what people think yeah and he has uh and 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 everything's going on let me just let donna know that miss d Uh wants to send greetings to donna thank you my darling she's logged in from london oh hello darling Desiree Perry. Oh, wow. She's getting Hello, a my shout darling. Out. How are you? I'm so, so happy you tuned in. But, you know, these are my girls. That's my girls. That's these my are your girls. girls. That's my girls. They just, let me That's tell you. That's your ride or dies. Listen, let me tell you. I may not see they them. You. They're there. They're wow. there. They support me. They love how, everything. How important is it to, um, you're getting into business. Right. And, and of course, this is a conversation, so sure. it's going to meander. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to do the We're gonna boring do that for, no, start, no. middle, end. Mm-hmm. It's going to go where it will. Right. So how important is it to build your base, your basic base in mm-hmm. anything that you're doing? You have to build a foundation. If you don't build a foundation, you are going to fall down. And, and understanding that can take time. Um, and it, it can take years and people rush. What I find we do as people is we rush. We want to get this thing now. we got to get, you know, we spend money to go and buy a Louis Vuitton bag, but won't, but, but, but won't put that investment into ourselves. I want to make sure that everybody can see your beautiful face and the microphone was right in front of you. <laughs> so we got to <laughs> fix you so it much. up. No worries. And Anon, yeah. Anon 8104, 
Okay, great. All right. Tony English is is hailing you up to. Now, Sorry Tony for the English, I love Tony English. Tony English and I is another one. We have never met. But Tony English is obviously, he comes from the UK originally, but he, he for years we've been in contact. I always let him know when I'm here, but we never get to actually meet. And if it wasn't for Tony, we wouldn't have met. So I've got to show him love. I, I, I'm telling you, this woman <laughs> is incredible. We, You know you have Facebook friends? Right. And then um, I just got a message that she was here <laughs> from London, and I'm like, you kidding me? Where, 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 who, what, what? Thank you so much, Tony English, for arranging it. I have love never met... Die. Donna Spence. <laughs> Yesterday was the first time I met her, right. and let me tell you, people, I'm getting goosebumps. Oh, when we you a, we, had we had a connection, right. such a great connection. It was as though we knew each right. other for like right. 20, 30 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. And this is the power of this woman. And I'm trying to tell her, you're saying this, this, and this, but I'm telling you, it's you, and you're going to know what that it factor is when you stick and stay. We're going to play a little bit more music because. It's Women's History Month. We can't Yay! forget the ladies. International right? Women's We've got Month. So much to talk about. We've got so much to talk about. So but much. I'm going to ask Peter <clears throat> to start that Peter, CD. Do your thing, boo. Do your thing, do your thing boo. And you got Donna Spence singing in the microphone now. down and I wonder what would we're for all and pull right about now. So who do you remembers remember? The, okay, I was Jean about Adibambo. to say Jean Adibambo. Let's say R.I.P. to Jean Adibambo because wow. you know what, what and a I, voice. And and I'm so blessed to have been able to give her a tribute um, when we obviously done it at Hackney Empire. But let me say to you, do you remember being in those raves? Now, for those of you who don't Shabin. know, should be in. Blues, Blues dance, dance back then. Now we're still doing it. And remember when a man just pulled you by your arm. You never had to ask. You never, just look, look, Peter's doing it. Right he would now. just hold you by the elbow and, and you would just melt into you his like body. This. Yes, my brother. No, you never said nothing. You just, you just <laughs> melted into his Kevin's body. Kevin's doing it right now. I love it. He's like, <laughs> okay, so it's a, you know Kevin, what? You're tickling me. You're tickling me. It's a crazy <laughs> conduit show. But when Donna is around, you just never know how it's going to go. You guys you are in to. for a wonderful treat tonight. And I'm just, I wish I was in the audience watching the show. Let me tell you, that's how good it's going to so be. Get ready. Turn Pull off the, the lights. Turn Bumble. off the lights. Yeah, turn off the lights, guys. Shout Please. out to my sister and my brother in London, Jen <laughs> and Ev. Big up on a Enjoy. Enjoy. Now, ladies, don't be scared. All I'm going to say right about now, because I know the time in England is late. Like right about now, turn off the lights. Let's hold make your love mouth and make your man know it's that time. Are you Ooh, ready to but, go? But, but, but. Ready. Sometimes I sit down and I wonder What would life be without you? Who asked me for a dance? Tony, come now. You ready? 
Put down the coke and the rum one side, yeah? Come, I'm ready. All right, I'm ready. Here we go. And we're just on the wall. Look, she's doing it, Tony. She's doing it. Hold on, hold on. Don't tick me too hard, Tony. Don't tick me too hard. My back, my back, my back. <laughs> nice start, Tony. I'll come back for seconds. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the ladies' room. <laughs> reminiscing about Gina de Bambo. Yes, but I was scrubbing with Tony. Oh, so Tony, <laughs> did you like that dance? So you need to go buy the lady a special brew or a cherry bee. A bean. special brew. A cherry, cherry bee. bee. You need to buy a cherry bee. Oh, wow. Bean. That's probably my problem because I didn't drink. Okay. So maybe so, that's the problem. And Kevin's in the back. Like, like, <laughs> he's, so he's, feeling the he's, so he's feeling the heat. He's so sweet. He's feeling the heat. Okay. okay. Thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're, we're going to get a, try and be a bit, a little bit serious, right? All right, okay. Welcome to Let's the Conduit right. Show once again. Uh, mm. To everyone who's logged into the chat room, welcome. It's the Conduit Show. You can find Sharon P and Peter G here every Sunday between the hours of six and nine. But Yay! what you won't ever see again for now is this lady who's sitting next to me. <laughs> she is um, a formidable hurricane. I call wow. her Hurricane Donna. Um, wow. <laughs> Donna. Oh. Yes. What are you predominantly known for? Comedy. Okay. I'm a comedian, really. You're a comedian. Mm. How did you get into the comedy industry and when did you start? Well, no, let me go back. A lot of people know me in this field as a singer because I was a singer first. Right. Which I thought everyone forgot because I didn't forgot you bring, it. Because I said to myself, <laughs> wait a minute, are you the Donna who used to sing? I was sing? like, you know me? Yeah, because I'm like, but I was trying to surprise you by having some music that I could just drop on you. I couldn't find anything. Do you know what? And I, I'm going to admit a secret here. I haven't heard my music ever before. I have DJs coming to me all the time saying, you've done this. I'm like, are you sure it's me? There might be somebody else. I no. mean, back in the day, I'd, obviously I'd done a lot of music, but I gave up singing. I give you a, a, a real joke. Um, obviously I used to smoke cigarette and I've never smoked anything else but cigarette. And when I gave up smoking cigarette 14 years ago, my voice went. 
so I can't actually sing anymore. I can retrain to sing, but I, my voice right. is actually weak now, so I can't even sing. I sing on stage sometimes when I'm doing comedy, when I'm making jokes about things, about right. music. But, but you really can't started, sing. and that's what I'm saying. I'm like, it's I weird. knew you were a singer, weird. and I saw your reaction yesterday when I, I said that what? to you. You know me? Yeah, because it's mm. like London is a kind of small place, yeah. really. Yeah, and especially in terms in of circles, that music. Yes, if you're especially in entertainment, in then you would know. So. How, yeah, tell me. I interrupted you. you no, that's fine me. because that's, this is what this is, and we're just going to be talking in and out. This conversations. Is yes, so it's conversations. Yes. Um, and then um, about sixteen years ago, I fell into comedy. Um, of course, I was always told, oh, "You're funny," but I think we were. I think most of us, especially as black people, always said, "Oh, you're so funny," but you didn't realize <laughs> that you were funny. Yeah. The other people. The other people. Funny. Right. And I didn't set out to be a comedian. I was going to do music. That's what I was. So. How did you get into comedy? So, um, Ninia Benjamin, who is was in a thing called Three Non Blondes with Tamika mm-hmm. Epson and Jocelyn Brown. And Tamika Epson now, if you if you know UK, she's now in EastEnders. Um, okay. With okay. Richard Blackwood and Ellen Thomas and those. And, Vaz? Um, Vaz Blackwood? No, um, El- Richard Blackwood. Comedian. Oh, I don't okay. know if you love that. Richard Blackwood yes. is... Okay. Oh, Richard Blackwood is the man. Yes. Right, right, right. <clears throat> and... Right. Uh, Vaz was the actor. That's right. Okay. And... Uh, so she was doing a she was doing a show mm-hmm. and she said come on come on come on I need you to come it was in Hackney and she said I need you to to come down to the show I goes I'm not I'm, I can't I don't make people laugh I'm not a comedian she goes yeah but you're funny so she said I'll just do two minutes I was like two minutes on what so I went down there and I'd done this joke on like you know what it used to annoy me I was really making a noise I was really complaining I was making noise about these adverts about body form Okay. And I couldn't understand these women wearing white. You say you got your time of your month and you're jumping up and down. It didn't make sense to me. So I was there making noise okay, about it. Okay, okay, right. okay. So it's not realistic. It's not realistic. So the people were laughing. I was like, uh, I couldn't understand why they were laughing because I was cussing. I was just, but I didn't realize that's what jokes was. And it took me about eight months to really find my comical, what I, what the, the audience, the comical voice. But I got booked straight away. And in fact, that night who was on the bill was, um, who's now a big comedian, and I can't remember his name now. Um, oh, Jimmy Carr. Right. Jimmy Carr, who's a white comedian. And I beat him hands down. Um, and I won, I won and I got through. And then I was get, then got booked by Jeff Schumann and Kwaku. And wow. I remember being on stage in, my first real gig was in High Wycombe at the Swan. And I'd done two minutes. I was like, and people were like, carry on. I was like... Uh, and I didn't know what to say and I just kept, started talking rubbish and then it I realised it wasn't rubbish then I realised that when you're talking Norm- normal when you're being yourself that is the funniness people want the truth and there was a difference between black and mainstream comedy because I'd done both circuits and of mm. course on the mainstream circuit they love you but they love you to be coloured and unfortunately I was always a black woman and never coloured so, so for the listeners who are logged in, who don't understand the nuances of the words right. and what, what coloured means. Coloured was the polite way of saying black. Right. Coloured is now the black. But back right. in the day, if you called someone black, that was really an insult. And you better put your fists up because a fight was going to ensue. That was back then. It right. was really a derogatory right. statement to call right. someone black. Right. So you would be polite and call them coloured. Right. So... And then, you know, it was then great to call us black. And we accepted, because we then started telling people, you know, you can call me black, is okay. No, I'm not brown, I'm black, and I'm proud to be black. Mm -hmm. So then, coloured in my terms, when I say it's a comic, we mean you want me to water down who I am to make you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't going to wash for me. And um, the mainstream comedy circuit, to me at that time, was about put down my black men, say some geography, sell myself short, and I just wasn't going to do it. So... Yeah, I could have easily, you know, it's easy on the mainstream circuit to just work, you know, you just work two hours. Oh, absolutely. You can work two hours, Monday, uh, sorry, sort of Friday to Sunday and earn something like £3,000, which is like $6,000. It was easy. So it was easy to sell out if I wanted to and be female. That's never been me. I'm not interested in that. I'm not black because you are another colour. That's your choice. And and, and this is the thing, you know, really, if I'm honest... The audience don't really care about your colour. They care, are you funny? It's the powers that be. So let me be really clear. Your next door neighbour, your people at work, all those people, they're fine. They actually go, oh my God, they're fine. They see you for you. Mm -hmm. But it's actually the media, the people that run things. They're the real ones of it all. 
you know. My goodness. As I'm listening to Donna, I'm monitoring the chat room. Tony, you need to go sit down because she's finished with you. He needs a cold shower after that rub that you gave him. Oh, okay. It was nice. It was nice. Good, good, good. I think he enjoyed it. So, um, (laughs) you're into comedy. So that's, that's where you get your first taste of audience. Yep. And the power of audience. Yep. And how, what it is you have. When did you realize, you know something? These people really like me. They really like me. You know that famous... Yeah. Um, do you know, I don't think I've ever got there. I, I never assume that you like me. I never assume. I think the minute you do that, you lose who you are. You are... You should be humble within your speech. You can like me today and hate me the next minute. But do I like me is the question. Do I like me? Do I love me? Do I understand me? When I like me and understand me, what you think of me is none of my business. It's not my concern. In fact, I would say for the first... Wow. For the first... I've been a comedian for 16 years and I can honestly say for 16 years I very rarely stay after I do a show. Why is that? Because I... I, I, You've done. I've left the building. And it's not that I think I'm great. You should be able to hear your audience. You can hear your audience if you've Mm -hmm. done good or bad. Now, I feel sometimes when I've done a show Mm -hmm. and I've done my spot, if I stay behind, it's almost like I'm expecting the audience to say to me, you were great. And that for me, like I'm good at, Mm -hmm. let me be real here. I'm so good at boosting you and I can give you whatever. But you start to boost me, I get really embarrassed. I can't take compliments. So, but you know also that even though there are those people who are takers. Right. And and that's bad. Mm -hmm. It's also the the, the the opposite is true, that those people who don't know sure. how to receive. Absolutely. And I'm one too. of those. I'm one of those because my my essence and everything I get is from the creator for me. So even yesterday when you were saying things to me, and even, you know, I had somebody uh, inbox me saying, saying great things about me. I was totally embarrassed even reading it. I could never even read it back to you. And it was lovely, but I don't want to get head up into that. I think right. that when you sit there, you don't on want to hype, start believing your own. Don't hype. believe the hype. Just, just trusting you are. You, you know, you're only as good as your last gig. But I want to tell you, Donna, there's no hype with you. What you right. see with you is what you get, and people may yes. be offended mm. because I've yeah. kind of done some research, yeah. <laughs> and you're not one to kind of hold your tongue. No, you are going to see, call it mm-hmm. how you see it. Mm-hmm. How does that? How do you get on with other women in the industry who are towing that line, that right. stereotypical line? Because you're you remind me of Donna Spence. Right. You are you. You I, are right, unique right. in how you approach the comedic art. There have been some women in the industry who use their body to... In everything. Right, to get somewhere. And I usually, I never say anything to them because I know they're not going to last long. Mm-hmm. Because wisdom and mm-hmm. time makes you know, you ain't going to be around long, honey. So do what you're doing. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm here, I'm here's my shoulder. I'm never going to judge you because it's not my job, my job to judge you. But mm-hmm. I know you're not going to be around long. If you don't come from your truth... It's not going to last. It's not going to last. Could you repeat that, please, Donna? <laughs> if you don't come from your truth, it's not going to last. And don't look at what other people are doing and be upset that you're not at that stage. Because your time is coming. Right. If they, you're true. Absolutely. I mean, you know, the, uh, like I said, I've been around 16 years, but there's been a good sort of five year, six year period where I've been quiet. And, you know, the industry's kind of going, oh, she's a has been, you know. And that's because, obviously, as women, you have life. So I had three years ago, my mother passed and I've just buried my dad like two weeks ago. And our condolences so, on that Thank one. you. Thank you. But you, you seem to be <clears throat> in such a good place. Well, I ha- well, with first that. of all, my par- my mother was 43 when she had me, 42, 43 when she had me. So I had an older mother to advise me mm-hmm. and her thing was always about go to the Bible. Don't trust in human. I love you, but God mm-hmm. loves you more than me. And we're definitely going to die in this life. And how you die is the choice. So everything my mother taught me was from the Bible. Every beating I got was from Which is why you're the... so grounded. Right. Well, I, I, in I, our I, conversations, I feel, I feel we, and I do it. feel that. So mm-hmm. it's not to be attached to this world. So my mama said, you should cry every time a child is born because it's born into a world of sin. And sorrow and, and right, pain. And... and you should be happy when they leave. So even though you're not really happy, but you are... It's a different connection for me. So I can let them go with love and know that they're free. My dad wanted to be with my mother. He adored my mother. Mm. In fact, we was in the way. I was in the way. He just wanted to be with my mum. Yeah. Wow. And, you know, so 
and, and and both of them didn't die. My mo- my my mother died. My mother. They said my mother had Parkinson's. We reversed the Parkinson's, and she died of natural causes. And mm. my dad died in his sleep. That what a way to go in Just, in this time now yeah. when people are dying of all kind of things, diseases and right. But that's another I mean? issue that we're going to talk about yes, because definitely Donna is multifaceted, multi talented, <laughs> a whirlwind. She's kind of calming down now, but we're mm-hmm. gonna we're gonna hype her up again, Tony, <laughs> so you can get another dance later you on. You don't need no excuse to hype me up, baby. I'm ready <laughs> she's, anytime. She's, she's ready like Freddie. What, was, ready. what was that phrase that you said? Um, don't don't wait to. Don't plan to fail. No, wait. Don't wait to be prepared. Oh, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. There you go. Which is really Will Smith. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Which is so true. And that's my thing. Always be ready. And that's something I want to discuss as well when we talk about the black businesses because mm-hmm. we got to wake up. Right. So you're <clears> still <throat> a working comedian. I'm still a working comedian. In fact, now you know my 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 tribute song is "It's My Time," which is by Kelly Price. Um, let me. I don't even know if we want to play that one. As part you of the know what? Tribute. That that yeah, it would have to be because it, it's my time. My my parents have left now. and They've gone. It's your time. Wow. So I'm going back to go and kick down some doors. And this is what I'm doing in New York right now. I came to get New York for me inspires me. It inspires me in so many levels that I absolutely love it. And I can bring myself back to the UK and go. This is who I am and help many others. Hopefully. Wow. I mean, as I'm looking for the song that Donna uh, says is her mantra, the song that she lives by, it's her time. And trust me, we haven't even scratched the tip of the iceberg. (laughs) We've just talked about one of Mm -hmm. the caps that Mm -hmm. Donna wears. It's 7.24. It's a Sunday evening. It's Sunday, March the... 13th. It's actually my sister's birthday. It's just happy, happy birthday. birthday. It Tracy. was my birthday yesterday. You go, it was Tracy. Her birthday yesterday. You pricey and crazy. You go, girl. <laughs> so, and to the English family who were logged in, and I want to say we greeting to the One Love crew out of Croydon. Hey, When's the party? Love. When's oh, the dance? You know the One Love dance coming up in Croydon. It is. You should. Well, I should. I should try and get that. I'm going to give you the. Ca- oh, I'm, I'm going to try my best. He would love for you to. We. You know what? We're going to make that happen. Don't worry. We're going to try our best. It's if a Desiree, If Desiree's still there, honey. Yeah, Desiree, yeah, yeah. Mwah. We're going to go back to Desiree in a second. Good, good, good. But we're good. trying to find. Oh dear, what's happening? The server unexpectedly closed the connection. You know, why have they done that? You know what? We're going to we're going to come back with some lovers. Right All right. Now. We'll find Kelly Price in a second. All right. Stick cool. and say, people. It's Donna Spence. She's in the conduit studios. Yeah, she has an announcement to make, folks. Okay, okay, okay. So just to let you know, when you hear this tune, this is my sister Kofi. So just know, remember Brown Sugar Days? This is my sister Kofi. We'll come back and talk about that, right? All right, cool. You heard it. Is that right? Yeah. I think so. Is it down? Yeah. 